Hello, welcome to Game On, the show that likes nothing more than a good run in the morning. That's a joke, we've never been on a run. Coming up... <laughs> Mario and Luigi take it back to the old school. Konami managed to make a genuinely exciting sports title sound really boring. Tactical changes take effect immediately, and that is something we worked very hard on. And Lily Allen threatens to infect our Wii. First, though, we got an exclusive hands-on bash at the new Super Mario Bros. title for the Wii this week. It's a nostalgic 2D Mario adventure with the odd Wii flourish, like flicking the Wii remote for a spin jump or a special move when wearing the new chopper hat or penguin suit. It's all-out multiplayer with co-op and competition modes. Mario, Luigi and Two Toads are all playable, and you can ride different Yoshi characters using their tongues to swallow enemies or rival players. The game itself isn't out till Christmas. Watch this space, though, for our full festive lineup coming soon. News in brief, and Fear 2 developers Monolith are more than a little excited about their latest piece of DLC. Yep, slow-mo deathmatch, where you can slow down time to slaughter more people, will be available from September the 3rd as a free update. Now, there are certain gaming franchises that pretty much sell themselves. Modern Warfare, GTA, Halo, Gears, anything involving Mario. In that list, surely falls Pro Evo Soccer, which is presumably why Konami have set themselves the challenge of making a preview trailer that actually makes people less excited about the upcoming game. Let's see what happens if you mess around with player support. Move it towards 100, which is max, and the players will move ahead of the man in possession when waiting for the ball. Move it to zero, and they'll all drop back behind him. Now, I don't care how much funky music you put underneath him, this man is boring. But Konami have failed because we're still looking forward to finally getting our hands on... Will you please be quiet? Thank you. We're still looking forward to finally getting our hands on the game, which comes out this autumn. We hope that fans can find honing the tactics and settings to perfection through many hours of play and the odd sleepless night a rewarding experience. Next up, roast those chestnuts and fire up that log. Nordic Games are dreaming of a wee Christmas. They've announced the release of Wii Sing, billed as the first singing game to use four microphones, which they helpfully point out will allow four players to sing at the same time. That lucky quartet will be able to destroy tunes by the likes of Coldplay, Lady Gaga and Lily Allen. God help us. The game's set to be unveiled at Gamescom in Cologne this weekend. And finally, Fox have sold the gaming rights to the Prison Break franchise to Deep Silver. What's your plan after we break her out? The game will be developed by Zoofly for next-gen consoles and PC. Great idea or recipe for disaster? It's our one shot. Answers on a postcard, please. That's it for this week. We're off to buy a cape for BlizzCon. Tune in next time for the very latest Blizzard-based gossip direct from LA. Till then, feel free to feast on all our gaming goodness at youtube.com slash gameon. Hello, welcome to Game On, the show that makes up for its lack of sense of humour with hilarious t-shirts. Funny.